will tell you a story. It will help with the story. Be call and response, I'll point to you, make the appropriate noise. If it's a horrible thing, what might you do? You might go, oh. If it's a great thing, you might go, hey. Excellent. This story is called Michael St. Christian's Talking Crop. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. here we are, <laughs> not too long ago. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there is this gentle whose name is Michael, Michael St. Christian. You're very good. <laughs> now, Michael St. Christian and I were having a conversation. We were trying to figure out a way to steal a sheep. Oh. No! However, yeah. this wasn't an ordinary sheep. This would have been an evil sheep, so stealing it would have been a good and right thing to do. Yay! Yes. Now, in stealing this sheep, we looked once. Woo! Woo! Twice. We, look, we looked twice. Woo! And we said, this is definitely a horrible, terrible, evil sheep. Mm. <laughs> Now, this wasn't any normal evil sheep either. This evil sheep was so evil that the other sheep that happened to not be quite so good said, Hey, hey. that's one evil sheep. <laughs> you. So we were talking, we had sketched a plan, and we said, This is going to be the North Shield Army, and from here, the ninjas come, and over here, there's going to be Marines, and they're going to land. And those Marines are going to be the strongest, nay, the fairest, nay, the most interesting intellectual Marines that anyone's ever seen. <laughs> All ninjas! And in talking about these Marines and the zip lines that the ninjas would come in on, we said, now, are these going to be wonderful Marines? Yeah. Yeah. Or should we pick some horrible, nefarious, evil Marines? Yeah. Well, we shot the middle distance and said, well, let's get some North Shield regulars. <laughs> So, in looking for these North Shield regulars, we said, if we are going to have this represent the North Shield army, and this wonderful spoon here is going to be the ninjas, and over here there's a monkey that's going to come in on a parachute with a zip line, at which point my good friend Elijah Cameron of the Black Isle says, and what's that pine cone going to be? At which point I said to Cameron, it's a pine that's cone. just a pine cone! <laughs> so as we were talking, and there were pine cones, there were monkeys, and there were ninjas, and there were trees. We all said, hey, we've got pine cones, monkeys, 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 monkeys. However, these are not just any sheep that we're stealing. They are evil sheep. So we are perfectly justified in our mission. <clears throat> Nay, we are obligated by our duty to our king, our kingdom, and in fact, our God, to steal these evil sheep. <laughs> At which point, as we're debating, as we are debating, my good friend and hero, Michael St. Christian, says, this plan is terrible. I'll show you how to steal an evil sheep. At which point he walks up to two guards whose names I won't mention. Kagamore, where are you? <laughs> walks up to two guards, one of whose names could have been, could perhaps have been Kagamore. Could have gone by another name. Actually, I think that guard's name was Wraith. <laughs> In fact, I apologize to Kagamore. In fact, I know it was this Wraith ruffian. And he says to him, he says, so what are you doing, my lord? And he says, oh, nothing. <laughs> so would you like something to do? He says, well, sure. Belt time out. <laughs> That's a little long for you right now. That doesn't belong there. <laughs> it's empty anyway. It's true. <laughs> Which makes all this quite more amazing, doesn't it? And he says, mm -hmm. he says, what are you doing, my lord? He said, I'm doing nothing. He says, would you like something to do? He says, well, what do you mean, Michael? He says, well, let me show you. At which point he grabs a sheep, -do 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 -do, which is a 55-gallon evil sheep, and he pulls it into the distance. At which point, this wraith, vile villain that he is, looks around and says, what just happened? <laughs> At which point his fellow guard, who happens to be from this other incredible barony, um, Breeze Place, no. Wind. Uh, some. <sighs> Wind Haven. Yes, that's what it was. He says to him, I think we should go after that ruffian and we should save that sheep. At which point this gentleman thinks, oh, that's a fine idea. We should go save that sheep. No one's seen the thief, this, this incredible man that has gone and stolen this evil sheep. No one knows where he went, what he's done, or where he's gone. Neither did he, because he was too drunk and he got lost. Correct. <laughs> so, outside of this wonderful plan where these things have flown out windows, there have been ninjas, there have been wonderful soldiers from North Shield, and we've tried to punish these horrible evil sheep. And the monkey. And the monkey. There was the one monkey we spanked him. We sent him home. We apologized for many sent us flowers. It was kind of ridiculous, but it was a good time. <laughs> so, we're hanging out with this monkey, at which point, Oh, uh, different story. <laughs> we're out, we steal the sheep. At which point, we hear in the distance, 
and we see the sheep come back, which was not part of the evil sheep plan. The evil sheep comes back, and proceeds to go off in the distance this way. At which point the guards go, was that the sheep? No, my lords, no, my lords, no, no, no. Fain, but you misunderstand. That was a general who was just trying to help his lady, the privy. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a great part of this story. Not good for me. Then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> At which point, this gentle is gone in the distance. My friend, Michael St. Christian, who has rid this incredible barony, Winfield, of these evil sheep. He has finally managed to purge this scurf from our midst. At which point the guards now, misunderstanding his divine intention to save us all, walk up and begin questioning individuals. They actually, in their zeal, kick their way into one Elijah Cameron's tent when he is having a very private moment with his lady. <laughs> very, very private At which point, any of you that know Cam, very skinny, red-haired gentleman, busts out of his tent, wearing his breeches up around his nipple area, and says, like groundskeeper Willie, what in the hell's going on out here? <laughs> At which point the guards go, I love the sheep is my uh, Hamish said it would be okay. <laughs> Which was not the case. <laughs> so, we save the sheep. Someone does sit trial, whose name is Michael St. Christian. He is acquitted of all charges. However, in the questioning, there is only one gentle, one gentle whose name shows up as a man of interest to question in this entire sheep trial. And his name is actually Simon Morcom. <laughs> Evil. Evil. Simon Morcom. Simon Morcom. Now, in all of this questioning, what ends up happening is absolutely nothing. Because, as we should tell our children the stories that we've ourselves been weaned on, what we should in fact in ourselves believe is that the righteous are saved. They do a service to their kingdom and they are rewarded. The evil, evil sheep are punished. They are sent back to their evil sheep fields to do their evil sheep things with other evil sheep, which is all on YouTube. <laughs> Look at that. It's all there for your perusal. Not that I would have seen it, but I have a friend that knew someone one time that had a roommate in college that told me about it. And it's pretty hot. <laughs> However, in the end, I have never seen a witness in a trial treated better than Michael St. Christian as a hostile witness was treated in Windhaven. The first thing they asked him as they were trying to question him is, would you like more beer? <laughs> well, yes, yes I would. Would you like some pie? Well, yes, yes I would. Did you in fact do this? Was this a good sheep or an evil sheep? Which answer gets me more beer and pie? Because <laughs> I can stay on trial as long as you would like. <laughs> In the end, the only moral that I can give you is, the sheep that are around you are not necessarily your friends. Those that you think are your friends that perhaps steal sheep are you doing you more of a divine service than you could perhaps understand. Those that are doing you a divine service that have anything to do with sheep should be very suspect. <laughs> and those that juggle in front of you and give you recommendations about incredibly hot things to look at at YouTube should get an incredible round of applause. <laughs>